fighting and war and combat. It's a constant presence here in the Great Desert and in the wastelands of Kenshi. And for that, we need to be stronger. We need to get stronger. And Viper Bronco, that's why he's carrying someone on his shoulder while he's fighting our slave. He's just training his skills. He's just training to be eventually as good as the mightiest of them fighters. And Phobos, Phobos is looking from afar saying, hey, I was once very strong person. I will be very strong person again. Leader of this community. Also, I wish these torches were not so loud, but oh well. Viper Bronco, you go, son. You smack this full around and let's do this. How you doing? You've been hit a bit, but this guy has been hit much more. Let's see, his melee attack is at 8 now, his katanas are at 6. Leveling up. His toughness is at, is at 9. Also uh, going up, right? As he gets hit. Dexterity is not so good. You would think that the dexterity would be better. Yeah, you, know, you see, every time you hit someone with a, a small weapon, it goes up. His strength also is going to be going up because he is carrying a person, so he is like over encumbered kind of while he's fighting. Yeah, look at that. Going up. And yeah, it's taking quite a while to beat him down, but one more hit in the stomach and he's going to be down. Good job. Oh, <laughs> look at Phobos. He has someone standing on his head. Now that is amazing. Phobos, you want to come down here? First aid is full. Let's train your first aid, man. Look at that tiny beauty. Viper Bronco is coming for it. Go, Viper. Go. Yes, follow me. Give me milk. Milk? Yes! Hell yeah, we got seven goat milk. And now we talking. We got ourselves another goat. Awesome. I wonder if I can put it into an outpost. Let's talk to it. Uh, keep going in my outpost. He's getting food. I think he's still following him. We'll see though. Maybe that goat's gonna go into an outpost. Which would be our home over here. You going inside? She's going inside, but I think she's still following. No? Okay, that's great. We now have a goat. Oh, that's amazing. I love that. We got ourselves a goat. Now, for some reason, Phobos is committing crime. Terrorism. I have no idea why. All I did is send him out of the house. I wanted him to go over here and loot the skimmer. And maybe the outlaw. But apparently, he's committing crime. And now we're going to be just running away from that samurai police person. All right, well, he is definitely trying to chase us down. We now have a bounty of 5,000 for terrorism. Somehow, no idea why that has happened. All right, well, he gave up Phobos. Now, if I can sneak him back into Stoat, if I can sneak him back in, then he can just stay, oh boy. <laughs> he could just stay inside. You know, but he needs to be somewhere in one of the cities if we want that uh, thing to go away. Holy shit, that's that's a lot of stuff. Who did you fight? Outlaw farmer? Go loot him. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm a terrorist, suddenly. I think it might be something because we were carrying that dead person on our head maybe i don't know i don't know just go to just go to bronco and we'll figure this out now there's this big group of outlaw farmers over here they might go and fight the guards and then i could go in no it's not working well, I can try sneaking in. I can try. It's probably not gonna work. It worked so far. Nobody recognized me. Of course, there's a guard outside of my gate. It's really obnoxious. 
Just keep to the shadows, man. They're gonna spot you, of course. Close that door. Okay, now we should be good. Um, Phobos, you just stay inside, man. Research. Stay sneaky. And hopefully nobody's gonna know that you're here. Just 195 hours uh, of you being stuck in here and we're good. <laughs> oh, man. Poor Phobos. No, he doesn't even have research to do. Well, that's okay. You can go down here and sleep. You can do that. Nobody should see you there, man. Just, just hide. There you go. He is now fully hidden. Oh, looks like we missed the battle again. Wiper. Attack the vagrants. Attack the vagrants. I don't know that we can actually do it. Um, how about we grab one of these starving vagrant? Go pick him up. Maybe we can recruit one of these guys. Not exactly the best choice, and I would rather not have you. Let's see if we can get this one. This guy looks nice. Let's put this guy down. Go pick up this fool. He's still alive. He's dying, but he's still alive. Okay, we're gonna put him in a in here and see if we can uh, recruit him. Time for another round of, round of ass kicking. Phobos, you stay sneaky, man. Sneaky and passive. Like Viper is gonna get this guy. While we have the starving vagrant just unconscious in there. Whenever he's gonna be out of coma, we can then talk to him. But look at Viper. I gave him, you know, he has more strength now because he's carrying some iron in his uh, inventory. And his melee attack is getting up there. Katanas are getting up there. Eventually, he's actually gonna be good. Pick him up. Put him in the cage again. Yeah. And just fix him up, man. Just fix him up. Oh, Phobos is coming to stealthily help with that. Oh, amazing. Good job, boys. Good job. Alright, we need to sell the milk. Definitely need to sell the milk. Oh, Viper is maybe. Hopefully. Finally coming to fight? No, Viper, come on. Go, go help over here. Go help the guards. Guards, please stop killing all these guys before Viper can take a swing. There you go, Viper. Sure, he blocked it, but come on, man. Oh, you were the one getting hurt? <laughs> God damn it. Oh, he couldn't do it. That's fine. We can at least steal these things from this guy. Yeah, standard grade boots. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. You tried, Viper. You tried. We need to get him a med kit now. He really needs one. Hey, there you go. You can uh, medicate yourself, man. You wanna do that? That's gonna be sweet. Good job. Actually, you don't have a shirt, do you? Also, why is Phobos... Phobos, where the hell are you going, man? What the hell? Stay inside. Stay inside. Viper? You're fine, man. You're fine. Oh. I need to put Phobos on hold or something. <laughs> he he gave me a heart attack there almost. Uh, my boy didn't have a shirt, so let's get that. Some extra attack damage effect. Sure, it's better than nothing, you know? Uh, and we can't really take this. Uh, let's switch these then. There you go. Good job, Wiper. Hopefully Phobos is gonna stay inside like a good little boy he is. Actually, Wiper, go pick up one of these bandits. Um, yeah, go pick up one of these guys. Just for strength training. There you go, that's better. Looks like my starring bandits over here are... Uh, ready to talk, at least one of them. If going to kill me, just get over it. Well, if I let you go, will you join our cause? Where's the food at? Uh, yeah, you can get some food. Huh? What you got? Forget it. I don't care. I'm so hungry to take anything. Uh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. I need food on me. We have food. Take that, man. Look, I have food for you, buddy. They made me fight work, fight work. I didn't want to do any of those things. Now you think I'm a criminal? I just want to be free. Will you let me... Will you, um... Join me? Yeah, got some grub. Uh, 
Something to fill your belly. Oh, okay. The easiest thing in my life. Are you a female? He's a female. Didn't even notice that. We're gonna name you. You can't be named Starving Bandit. Starving Marvin, maybe. Um, let's name you. Hmm. Let's name you Peggy. Let's name you Peggy. And let's make you ready. Well, we got ourselves Peggy. <laughs> she is very, very injured. But she's part of the crew now. And, uh, well, before she goes and rests, she needs to actually get some stuff. Now, for, to this star migrant, we can't talk to them, apparently, right now. Maybe he's just... I don't know. He seems not too happy about his life. I also saw his underpants, which I'm not too happy about, but hey. Alright, Peggy. So you can't you can't wear these clothing. These are the clothing of I don't know, your masters. You can't wear that. Let's get you that kimono. Look at that. She kinda looks cool using that thing. Uh this we're gonna get you one of the pants. I guess you're gonna get some uh, triangle beaks as well, and a set of drifters leather pants. Sure, let's get you one of the beaks. There you go, Peggy. You seem solid now. All right, you. You can go eat, Peggy. You can go eat. Don't you want to eat? Come over here. There's gonna be food in here. There you go. Look. Eat, Peggy. Eat. There you go. Perfect. Also, let's see your stats. 6th strength, nine toughness, 4 dexterity, 2 perception. It's pretty solid. Nice melee defense. She's solid at all these stuff. Hey, you know what? You're not too shabby. Also, I think you're stuck. Great. Wiper. Oh, I'm pa Oh my god, I'm stupid. The game was paused. <laughs> Oh man, go Peggy, go uh, lie in there and rest. Actually, Wiper, I think he has. Uh... You know what, Wiper? You get your ninja mask back, and you're gonna give uh, Peggy that thing. There you go. All right, we're working. Let's see, whenever we can talk to this guy, we will. But we can't right now. Uh, I think I'm gonna Peggy. Be passive. You are passive. Viper, go set this guy free. Oh, shit. Close the door. Fight him. Definitely close the door. Where did he get a weapon? Where did he suddenly get a weapon? You see that? Um, that might be dangerous now. This triangle bandit has quite a, a good attack. Okay, stop being passive. Stop sneaking and come fight him. Peggy, show us what you've got. We all need to fight now. We all need to fight for preservation. Oh yeah, he's gonna get smacked now. You stand no chance, sir. No idea where he got that weapon from, but he got himself a stick. Nice. Maybe we'll take your stick, man. Maybe we'll take your stick. Peggy with a swing. Look her go. Look her go. Nice one, Phobos. Viper backstabbing the fool. Do not... Shit. Who is he attacking? Okay, okay. You, you go out, Phobos. Sneaky quickly. Oh, man. Do not come inside, man. Do not come inside. Alright. You guys fine? Peggy, you need to be a medic. You see? I don't think you have uh, anything of medicine kind on you. But that's okay. We can, we can give you some. Alright, go rest, Peggy. And you, bounty man. Oh, you don't even have anything to research. Just go up. Up here. Viper. Actually, Phobos. Pick up this guy. 
loot him. Where did he get that stick? Ha! <laughs> the bastard. Alright, put him back in. We need to deal with him eventually. Yeah, you guys heal him. Time for another ass kicking, I think. This time around we went for the starving vagrant. Oh, that was that one was <laughs> short lived. Well, pick him up. We're gonna sell him to slaves. He doesn't want to join us. He doesn't even want to talk to us. How's this guy doing? Eh, he's a bit hungry. That's fine. Peggy and Viper Bronco uh, can now work together outside. Peggy's not quite fully healed yet, but soon will be. Uh, she does have some food as well, so we have that. But yeah, we're gonna sell that guy to the slavery over here to the slaves just to make some money. We're kind of short on money right now, so yeah, we've been I've been spending money on projects that we've been doing, research and stuff. So uh, yeah, we're kind of out of money right now. If we want to eat, well, we kind of need to uh, need to do something, right? So yeah, there's a lot of people. Yeah, there's been like uh, a very big shortage of any attacks around here. So what I'm thinking we're gonna do is we're gonna probably just leave Phobos back here. He has some food. He's gonna be fine. He can fight this triangle bandit uh, whenever he desires. And uh, Peggy and the Viper are gonna go out there and maybe go to Shobatai. See what uh, is happening up north. I think that's what we're gonna do. Uh, Peggy is gonna go and pick up a corpse as they go. Just so he's gonna, she's gonna be a bit overwhelmed. And she's gonna be carrying something else. Uh, so I think that's a good idea. Don't you go out there. You don't need to eat yet. Where's all the corpses? Oh my god, they just must have uh, disappeared. Well, she's not picking up a corpse then. Which is unfortunate. But, uh, yeah. What I could do is have Viper Bronco put down his thing. Piggy, pick up Viper, get back here. You don't need to eat, guys. Let's go. Here we go, Shobatai. We have arrived safely up north. And, well, doesn't look like there's anybody attacking this place. First things we're gonna do is actually go to a bar and buy some food. Yeah, I think that might be a very, very good idea. Maybe there's some possible recruits. Uh, there's the Sandman. Yeah. Uh, leader of the Sandman, no. Maybe Curve of the Drifters might want to join us. We need more money, though, if we actually want to recruit these guys. We're going to see. <clears throat> let's talk to you, and let's get some food on us. Uh, Peggy, need some food. You need some food. You don't have much money. This is all you can afford, really. Uh, I doubt any of these guys will want to join us for free. Uh... How good are you? A uh, blade has called the fiercest foes, both beasts and sapient alike. Alright. I'll teach you the secret techniques passed down through generations of warrior monk. I'm listening. Reserve a spot for me, your personal grandmaster, for 3,000. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we don't have the money for it, man. <laughs> don't, don't even try. Don't even try. 3,000 for the grandmaster? I kind of doubt that that's the thing. I kind of very much doubt that's the thing. Anyway, uh, are you a traitor? That is the traitor. Let's go and talk to the traitor. Uh, something to trade. Let's see. Uh, he has a ninja mask. Drifter's Lighter Pants, Mediocre Black. These ones has extra stealth effect and they're high grade. Awesome. Of course, we don't have the money to buy them. Which is not so awesome, but... Yeah, this would be really good to buy. And I came here to buy stuff, yet I kind of... Somehow, forgot that I do not have the money. <laughs> do not have the money for it, which is unfortunate. Maybe we're gonna go out there and steal something. Possibly. Uh, Peggy, maybe you can get some skills. Oh uh, yeah, her melee combat is a two. Yeah, go go fight this thing, Mel uh, Peggy. Let's go fight that thing. And Viper. Nothing really. Assassination is what he could learn, but I don't think that's what we're gonna do. And here goes Wiper Bronco once again into the fray, <laughs> getting hurt by a skimmer. That's okay. Peggy is out there. She can heal him if needed. Go, Wiper. 
Level that katana of yours. You can do it, buddy. Oh boy. You got hurt. Viper got hurt. But he has done it. Yeah, go heal yourself, man. Good job. Maybe someone else is gonna come and heal you because you were so nice to help. Doesn't look like it. Just selling those, uh, those things from skimmers. Made him enough money that he can now go ahead and finally buy himself those, uh, better pants that are gonna give him extra stealth effect. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now he's gonna be stealthy as hell, hell. Good job, Viper. Also, they're blacker. Blacker than they were before. Which is also beautiful. But, again, we spent all of our money. <laughs> uh, actually, not all of it. We, we still have some money. But I think, uh... Yeah, they both ate everything already, so... Gonna have to buy some food again. Time to leave this accursed place. <laughs> because we're being chased by these guys again. And they're hurling insults because they think that we're boneheads and spikies and all that kind of stuff, but... Yes, we're going away from Shobatai, gonna go down to Heft. Maybe find something... Uh, I do not like the fact that these guys have weapons in their hands. Do not like that at all. Uh, not very good at fighting. But... There is more of them. Did we try taking them? We can swing back. And get... You know what? We're not gonna win this fight. But we can help. The problem is our armor isn't exactly made for fighting right now. In fact, far from it. Excuse me? Why don't you want to help me, man? I think the ninja is helping us. Oh, let's go. Good job. Thank you. Viper dealing some damage. Go, ninjas. Go, go. Peggy is fighting two of them. I'm not gonna... Uh, get them not over encumbered because that's gonna get them extra strength while they fight and the fact that ninjas are helping us it should be pretty good go Peggy Viper and uh, one of the ninjas are just double tapping this fool let's go Peggy is dealing with this guy on, his, on her own she's doing quite well she's pretty injured Viper is also pretty injured he might go down at least one of you stay up and then we're good uh, they got one of the... Uh, they got the hero boss. That's good. If you can do the hero boss, we are solid. Peggy's doing well. Good job, Viper. You got one more down. Awesome. There you go. Ninja got this guy. Amazing. Okay, Peggy. Let's see. Udachi. We're definitely taking that. And you have some uh, standard grade stuff. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Not taking the shoddy stuff, though. Go, Viper. Peggy, what are you waiting for? Nice. We got them. There's more out there, but I think we're fine right now. We're just gonna see what we can take. And be done with it. So in the end, the decision was not to go to Heft, but returning back to Stowed because we captured a city hero that we're gonna try to recruit. Is it gonna happen? I don't know, but we can try. Also, we're definitely avoiding these slavers because that is just asking for trouble if you run into slavers. Also, we did uh, pick up uh, quite a lot of standard grade loot from uh, the city heroes, so we got some of that. Uh, and uh, we can either sell it or use it for our own goods or for our own people whenever we get more people so we'll see about that I'll decide well Peggy also got destroyed by this sand ninja that just attacked us from out of nowhere oh oh he's helping us thank you buddy thank you really appreciate it thanks okay so, um, now that's a problem. We need to kind of pick up Peggy and we are carrying the city hero. That, you know, that's a problem. So if we could, uh, wait a bit and get Peggy to heal up, it could be kind of good. It's gonna take a while, I think. 
Mm, she's gonna be in recovery coma for a long time. I would like to wipe her bronco to carry her. Ugh. God damn bastard. Sand ninja. What did he ever do to you, man? Oh, great. There's a manhunter coming. You know what, manhunter? We're not letting you pick up Peggy. Definitely not. Pick her up. Yeah. That city here is now normal, apparently. He's gonna be waking up. He's gonna be run away. Fine. I was trying. I was trying, man. I was hoping we could... We could maybe... Uh, get that city hero back home by waiting for Peggy to wake up, but she's in recovery coma. She's gonna be for a while. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring her back to the thieves, put her in a bed, and well, we can always go back and capture us another uh, person. Actually, the problem was one of those guys we were carrying. We had a lot of loot on them. Well, that's great. They're just bloody brilliant. So we lost a lot of the loot as well. Oh boy, all to that sand ninja. You know what sand ninja? We're coming after you man. Just wait till we get a bit stronger. Just wait till we get more people. We are coming for you buddy. And uh, you will never see us coming. Alright, put her in bed. You can also go in bed because you need to heal up. Alright, here we're gonna wait for these guys to heal up. And I'm gonna say thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. At least we get some more gear. So it's not that all bad and Phobos is still 130 hours away from being uh, not a prisoner of his own house for now thank you all for watching if you enjoyed it if you did please consider dropping comment down below should like subscribe and see more do magic and i'll see you next time Kirk out.